From the beginning, the Amish Mennonite children attended the public elementary schools. Most parents, who were deeply committed to nonviolence, had instructed their children to not salute the flag as they interpreted the pledge to mean they would be willing to go to war. This hadn't created any big problems until 1928. Community patriotism was strong and this refusal to salute was not understood or appreciated. The children were threatened with expulsion. There were multiple meetings with the school leaders and Navin Bender even wrote to the Wilmington newspaper to try to explain. We honor, we cherish, we love the American flag, the stars and stripes. The Mennonite people take an attitude of high respect toward it. We recognize the powers that be, the government ordained of God. We take an attitude toward it of obedience, submission, appreciation, loyalty in life and service, holding only that our highest allegiance is due to Jesus Christ. His pleas to the state board went unheeded and the students were expelled. So Navin, previously a teacher, opened classes in the church auditorium, and in February 1928, Greenwood Mennonite School began with 30 students. Navin wrote to the Amish Mennonite newspaper, The Budget. We are glad to have the privilege of having our own school. It is expensive for our little colony, but we can do it if we think so. Later, Irene Zook was hired to teach all eight grades. The 30s brought the Great Depression. All the members of the church were fairly poor, but yet they looked ahead and decided they needed to build a school. Valentine Bender donated the land, and in 1932, the congregation built what became known as the Little Brown Schoolhouse. New families continued to move into the community, and the little school grew. Nevin was ordained bishop, and the two pioneers of the group, Valentine Bender and William Tressler, both passed away. 